Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 tutorial. I never intended to make this tutorial, but I ran into a problem that I was having with Allegro 5 and I decided to show you a little bit of the window routines and window properties and hopefully you can avoid some of the problems that I ran into in case you ran into those problems as well. So, uh, for some of you, probably maybe like when you opened your your game window before or when you open your game window in the future your game window will, um, in fact won't indeed show up right and it will like when you run your program it will show up like in the start like it will show up on the task bar right here but you won't actually be able to see your window and sometimes you'll only be able to see your console window that is because um, it probably in later versions of Allegro 5 probably when you're watching this in the future you won't have to worry about this bug but there is a bug and you can um, generally change this by using this Allegro built-in function called Allegro underscore set underscore window underscore position first parameter takes a display and this um, use display you set where you wanna display your window on the screen so before when I was running my Lego programs like my window was being shown off the screen if you want to be shown on the screen then you specify the certain pixels um, across in the x-coordinate and circle certain pixels like long in the y-coordinate you like to display it and um, I know I never really got into pixels and how they work and stuff but generally if you put like a low number like 100 by 100 or something like that then that should be a, a good decent number and then when you run your program even if it's not like perfectly centered where you want it oh sorry like if it's n even if it's not perfectly centered if you want it you can still adjust the windows position like so so when it runs you can still move it around and move it to place it wherever you like to now um now like a lot of games a lot of PC games run in full screen mode and they don't they don't run in like just a certain window like that and um, sometimes you want to modify the game window to adjust to the certain play style um, say you want to have an option where you want to use the person could select if they want to play in full screen mode or if they don't or say you wanted the window to actually be resizable so they can adjust the size of their window according to what they wanted the window size to be right so um all of these stuff can be done using the allegro um the allegro library and i'm going to show you some of the things that you could do so one new um thing that i never taught before is al underscore set underscore window underscore title the first parameter takes the display which is the window and then the second one takes the title of the window that you like to display if you don't know about titles every single window in your program should have a title like in Visual Studio my titles YouTube Allegro 5 series dash Microsoft Visual Studio so if we were to run our game right now I set the title to coding made easy so if you look right here the title is set to coding made easy and let's just wait 10 seconds uh, before it closes um, I'm not sure if I taught this in the last tutorial but this just um, pauses the program for how many seconds you specify in here so um, we can change the windows name and now we learn that we can also change the position where it displays on the screen and one new thing right here is that we can modify the actual display how it displays to do this the function is al underscore set underscore new underscore display underscore flags and much like the native box um, flags and stuff you can put more than one flags in there and you can modify certain things so if I want just a regular window to pop up like I like I did before then I could set my flags to allegro underscore windowed and say I want it to be resizable so I would put that line straight line there put allegro underscore resize resizable 
and then once we run this program then it's windowed and notice that we can resize the window now make it any size you want it and whatnot so that's a cool thing about windows resizable now say we wanted it to be a full screen so we could put allegro underscore full screen and what it would do is it will screen resolution to the amount of pixels that you specified in your program so say the window size is 800 by 600 then we'll modify the um, the screen's resolution to 800 by 600 to run your game now there's another one also called uh, Allegro underscore full screen underscore window and what this does is that it um, it adjusts your game window to have the same amount of pixels as your actual computer screen your actual computer's resolution so that's a neat little trick you can use also and one last thing you can do is you can do Allegro underscore no frame and if I was to run this program to see what we can get if you notice there's no title window there's no sides no nothing it's just a frame like it just has no it has no frames around it it's just a box just a square and there's other stuff that you could use if you look at the Allegro manual like you can initialize OpenGL and DirectX, Direct3D and all that stuff but we're not doing we're not learning 3D programming for now we're learning 2D programming so these stuff are not important or um, aren't relevant like I'm aware you can do 2D programming with OpenGL and DirectX and stuff but with the Lego library we don't need that we don't need this for that so anyways that's just a little bit of the window routines and hopefully if your window wasn't showing before then that solution works for you so thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed it and bye